You just clicked on the right video. You're about to dive into one of the strangest and most mind-bending mysteries of quantum physics. Something that challenges our understanding of reality itself. Can humans exist in multiple places at once, just like quantum particles? Does quantum superposition apply to things much larger than atoms? And if it does, why don't we experience it? Is it possible that we are living in countless different versions of ourselves without even knowing? Quantum superposition is one of the most fascinating concepts in physics, a principle that defies our everyday intuition about how reality should work. It tells us that particles such as electrons, photons, and even atoms can exist in multiple states at once until they are measured. This is one of the key ideas in quantum mechanics, and it has been tested time and time again through experiments that challenge our understanding of the physical world. Superposition allows particles to be in different locations, simultaneously carry multiple energies, or spin in different directions at the same time. But how does this phenomenon work, and does it apply to objects larger than individual particles? Could humans, in some way, also exist in multiple places at once? To understand quantum superposition, we need to start with the basics of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is the branch of physics that describes nature at the smallest scales, governing the behavior of atoms and subatomic particles. Unlike classical physics, where objects have definite positions, velocities, and states, quantum mechanics tells us that these properties can be uncertain until they are observed. The famous thought experiment of Schrodinger's cat illustrates this strange concept. If a cat is placed inside a box with a radioactive atom that has a 50% chance of decaying and releasing poison, the cat is neither fully alive nor dead until someone looks inside the box. This is a macroscopic analogy of superposition, but in reality the same logic applies to particles at the quantum level. They exist in all possible states until an observation forces them into a single reality. One of the most well-known demonstrations of quantum superposition is the double-slit experiment. When a beam of electrons or photons is directed at a barrier with two slits, it behaves like a wave, passing through both slits simultaneously and forming an interference pattern on a detector screen. This pattern is characteristic of waves, not particles. However, if we try to measure which slit a particle goes through, the interference pattern disappears, and the particles behave as if they only went through one slit. This suggests that before observation, the particle does not take a single definite path. Instead, it exists in a superposition of all possible paths. Interference is another key phenomenon associated with superposition. When two waves overlap, they can interfere constructively increasing their amplitude, or destructively, cancelling each other out. This behavior is seen in water waves, sound waves, and light waves. In quantum mechanics, interference occurs when quantum states combine, resulting in probabilities that reinforce or cancel out. This is what we observe in the double-slit experiment and in quantum computing, where qubits exist in superpositions of zero and one, allowing for parallel computation. The ability of quantum states to interfere with each other leads to the profound realization that particles do not have fixed properties until they are measured. A question that naturally arises is whether superposition applies only to tiny particles or if it can extend to larger objects, including humans. Experiments with molecules such as the buckyball, a complex structure made of 60 carbon atoms, have shown that even large molecules can exhibit quantum superposition and interference. These molecules, when passed through a double-slit apparatus, form interference patterns suggesting that they exist in multiple states at once, just like electrons and photons. This implies that the laws of quantum mechanics are not necessarily limited to microscopic scales, but could, in principle, affect macroscopic objects as well. However, as objects become larger and more complex, quantum effects become less apparent. This is due to a process called decoherence. Decoherence occurs when a quantum system interacts with its environment, causing the delicate superpositions to collapse into a single classical state. For example, a single electron can maintain superposition for a long time in isolation. But a large object made of trillions of atoms interacts constantly with air, radiation and other forms of energy, making superposition nearly impossible to observe. This is why we do not see everyday objects such as chairs or humans in multiple places at once. The wave-like nature of such objects is washed out by environmental interactions, forcing them into a single, well-defined state. 
Even though we do not see macroscopic objects in quantum superposition in our daily lives, the question remains. Could humans exist in multiple places at once in some theoretical sense? Theoretically, quantum mechanics does not place a hard limit on the size of objects that can be in superposition. If a human could be perfectly isolated from the environment, their quantum wave function could, in principle, exist in multiple locations. However, this is practically impossible because humans are highly complex systems made up of billions of interacting particles, all constantly exchanging information with the surroundings. The sheer number of interactions ensures that quantum superposition collapses almost instantaneously for large systems, making it impossible to observe such effects in daily life. Despite these limitations, some interpretations of quantum mechanics suggest that superposition may still play a role at macroscopic scales in a different way. The Many Worlds interpretation, for example, proposes that when a measurement occurs, rather than collapsing into a single outcome, the universe splits into multiple parallel realities. Each possible state exists in a separate branch of the universe, meaning that in some sense all possible outcomes are realized. If this interpretation is correct, then every quantum event creates a branching of reality, meaning that there could be countless versions of ourselves experiencing different outcomes in parallel universes. While this idea is purely theoretical and cannot currently be tested, it provides a fascinating perspective on the implications of quantum superposition beyond the microscopic world. Recent advancements in quantum computing and quantum technologies have demonstrated that superposition can be harnessed for practical applications. Quantum computers use qubits that exist in superpositions of states, allowing them to process multiple calculations simultaneously. This gives them a significant advantage over classical computers in solving complex problems, such as factoring large numbers, simulating molecules, and optimizing systems. Superposition is also being explored in quantum cryptography, where information can be transmitted securely using quantum states that collapse upon measurement, making eavesdropping impossible. In experiments with macroscopic quantum systems, scientists are working on ways to extend superposition to larger objects. Researchers have successfully placed tiny mechanical oscillators into superpositions, and future experiments may push this boundary even further, while achieving superposition at the human scale remains a distant possibility, the exploration of quantum effects in increasingly larger systems may one day challenge our understanding of reality in new ways. Quantum superposition and interference are not just abstract concepts. They are fundamental principles that shape our understanding of the universe. While we do not see people or everyday objects existing in multiple places at once, the underlying rules of quantum mechanics suggest that, in principle, Nothing prevents this from happening under the right conditions. The challenge lies in overcoming decoherence and finding ways to extend quantum effects to larger scales. Whether quantum mechanics will one day reveal new dimensions of reality that challenge our classical intuition remains an open question. But its impact on technology, philosophy and our understanding of existence continues to grow. Now it's your turn. What questions does this video spark in your mind? Let us know in the comments below and let's explore these mysteries together. Thank you for joining us on this journey through quantum superposition. Please like and share the video and please do not forget to subscribe for more videos.